Hey everybody, welcome back to GDPG, and today we are playing There Was a Caveman. Why are you swimming? I'm I'm pumped, man. So you're swimming? Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> that was not even like an excited swim. You're like, yeah, we're we're gonna be playing some some games here with this. Uh, um, who, you're who? like going less than a mile an hour. <laughs> who made this game? Norris Amet Amet Amat Amatnik. Amatnik. Norris Amatnik. It's already too. Uh, Norris Amatnik. Hands up. Already, so, hands up. It's already <laughs> happened. So this is a. Oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a caveman hanging out in his cave, and all of a sudden his wife dies. Well, Aww. lover, I guess I should say, because... Was his lover a skeleton? Did you just kill? <laughs> the achievement is got over her. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, all right, we're off to a really big start. So this is a very challenging platformer game. Oh, this um, looks like so much fun. You know, when I, I when I first checked it out, it... I, whoop. Oh. Oh, whoop. Ah. Because caveman a, defy physics. Yeah, well, he's got a double jump. So the game isn't, like, particularly unique as far as platformers go, but the one mm -hmm. thing I really liked about it is both that it has a an intentional whew, an intentional challenge to it, and oh, uh, it's, it's got a really good style. Like, this game actually reminded me a lot of Joe and Mac when uh, I first oh, played okay. it. Which, we've, we haven't played that on the show, but that's one of those... Hmm. Oh, shit. There I go. Wow, who knew I, that when you stepped on something hot, you would explode? I accidentally hit the dash button. I do find it really uh, interesting that usually in games like this, you can <laughs> jump, like when you have the double jump function, the second, fu you only have two actions you can do in the air. You can either do the jump again, or a dash. In this one, it looks like you can use uh, utilize all three yeah, functions. Yeah, I, I think that sort of changes a bit per game. Um, it does. Rogue Legacy was one that really kind of got away from that too. <laughs> Yeah, Rogue Legacy, you that one was really cool too because you could just upgrade your abilities to mm -hmm. whatever you, you know, kind of saw yeah. fit. Um, and I think that's part of what if made that game. If you had the money, game. which I never did. <laughs> oh no, dude, that was part of what made that game amazing. It was it was a fantastic game. In oh, fact, wow. it's sort of a shame that we've never played that one on the show. I think we we've we haven't done it because that one's been out for a while. It's been out now. for a bit, you know. Hey, if you guys want to see us do it. Just let us know. I mean, that's, that's all part of the same, like, hey, if you want to see us play a game, request it kind of thing. That's because true. we don't get a lot of requests, so whenever we do, it's actually really exciting yeah. to play those. Yep. Um, this game actually was sent to us by the developer, so... Oh, awesome! Yeah. So that that was kind of the other thing that made it really kind of fun to put it on the shows. <laughs> those <laughs> bugs. There are, their little arm moves are like... Whoop. I love it. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a, a big thing of jello. <laughs> just, you know, jello hanging out. I'm sorry, Mr. Caveman, but this... me trying to climb with only one arm is almost impossible. Then again, I'm not very coordinated, so. Was he climbing with one arm because he was yeah, holding the club? Because he was holding the club in the other one. I honestly don't think I've ever tried. I, um, we had to move a bunch of car batteries at work. Uh, and I, there was a whole bunch of stuff on the floor, so I was literally climbing on the rack with the battery in my hand. Like, it was in, like, an uncharted game. I, like, I was gonna say, it's tossing like... Tossing it up and then, like, watching it land on the thing. Oh, that's right, I can attack. I'm just, it really wasn't that epic. Sorry, guys. It, it sounds it like a, a proper pirate tale. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I do I do like these bugs little legs going <laughs> So what's the point what what do you think the point is of the bone pickup thingies? Okay. So we'll actually get to see a bit about that. That's one of the mechanics about this game that I think had a lot of potential that they just kind of failed on, unfortunately. Okay. Um but not to say you can't work on it. I guess that's true. The game I think is technically in full release full ah, god damn. Is in I also need to work on my cussing. I know I've said this already, but after after Geekarius and and and, uh, and I played uh, South Park, he he watched the episode and was like, "I swore way too much, Chris. Like, you should have stopped me." And I was like, "Well, hey, at least it's South Park." Now was he Park. like doing his usual like bellowing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Because oh, he was terrible at the game. Oh. And he was mad at me when I played it because he was like, "Oh, oh, you just have to go and one up me, Chris." Yeah. <laughs> like, well, you do, and it's kind it's of annoying. an N64 okay. first-person shooter. It's no not going to be good. Oh, hold on. I gotta. I didn't realize that the mouse was actually on screen. I love the um, the. There we go. 
get neutral animation. Of neutral animation of the caveman. Yeah. Yeah. Neutral animation. I like that he's time. he's kind of like whatever. You got it. That's <laughs> cool. He, he does this do a is little solid. shrug. Anyway, what were we talking about? I don't remember. No big deal. Oh, okay. I should mention this. See the little golden heart off yeah. to the side? Is that like a hidden path thing? Yes. Oh. oh. I don't know why I missed it last time. So, okay, now we have four hearts, which is actually oh. pretty cool. Now, four hearts, like we, hearts. Well, we will also see that it's you lose those extra hearts. Oh, do you? If you get a game oh. over, or I think if you just die, you lose one of those bonus hearts. I, you always have the oh. minimum of, of four. Um, which I, I hate that, actually. Yeah. Now, okay, so here's where the bones come into play. We can actually buy more stuff. So I just bought another heart with my with 20 bones. Now I can okay. buy... What do I have? I already have bones. So bones. We've, we've been collecting other things so I can throw them. Um, this is particularly the mechanic that reminds me of Joe and Mac. Okay. Um, because you collect little, like, extra tools throughout the stage and use those as your... I, I guess in Joe and Mac it was your primary weapon. Um, is okay. I like this fat guy. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> what is, is he on a rock? Just rock lazy chair? boy. Yeah, rock lazy boy. And what the hell is wrong with his stomach that he's breathing in that much? Dude, you've clearly never been obese, like morbidly that obese, is like not this guy. True at all. When you're that fat, you breathe heavy. Cause it's just like, oh, Talk oh god, it's exhausting <laughs> to even Gary, like. Geek Garius is gonna watch this and be like, oh, I see. Now they're talking crap about me. You know, Tony's not a, you, like Geek Tony's Garius. a big guy, but he's still see, not you know, like the biggest I've seen. I was just calling him Geek Garius because you yelled at me like we have to call him by his name. Geek Garius, Tony. It's yeah, well, it's all the same person, really. Well, it's like Eagle Raptor and Aaron. I guess it's the same. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, I don't know where to go. I don't that know if that's what I was supposed to do, scary. but that's what I did. No, that, see, that's the, one of the things that I love about this game is that every in every level, I think there are five or six in total. Mm. Um, they they like to throw little challenges at you like that, oh, okay. where you least expect it. Now, if you had gotten hit by that, would have that instant death? Okay, good. Yeah. Well not, well, not good, but well, no. I I think that's one I, of those things that calls. You for can't it. get hit and come back from a gigantic boulder crushing <laughs> you. That's that's not a thing. Oh, this is okay. So this <sighs> is something else. There are very few parts Regular that replenish your health. Okay. Um, so I, it's it's just there for hey, congratulations, you found it. But this is of, only a hit. A hit's worth of health. Yeah, it's it's kind of disappointing actually. Um, See, I, that's that's the thing. I sort of rule towards the opposite. I think it's it makes the game a little bit more brutal. Not well, I shouldn't say well, brutal, more difficult. It, it absolutely does. I think what I'm okay. Actually, before we get to that, I want to talk about this so that we can get okay. through the stage. Up until this point, we've never had to go down through a platform. This is a good level design moment because they teach us, hey, there's nowhere you can go. You're presented with this, so the player can go. Well, maybe I can go through it, and bam! Okay. I just learned a thing about platforming in this game. The part that always sort of throws me off, though, is that, and mind you, a lot of people have played games that have that as a function. Oh yeah. But beginning of the game, right? You had the uh, scrawlings on the back wall that showed you press this and you do this, right? Mm -hmm. That was never something that was revealed. That was never something that was laid out for a player to see, be like, oh, okay, oh, I get, I get it, I can do you're this. You're talking about the, the base mechanics of the game? Yeah, the, uh, yeah, because at the end of the day, it really is sort of a base mechanic of the game. I, I actually, ooh, I, uh, I wonder if... I don't understand a... why you explode like a brutality just got done on you in <laughs> that combat. Know. It's for dramatic sake. Um, so, I actually am going to disagree with you about not making or about presenting the player the control scheme at the beginning of the game like that okay um simply because um oh geez nice it's it's a matter of like teaching the player that hey this is something you can even do in the first place you know it's important that they and uh, most players are probably going to figure it out just from you know pushing the button on the controller and realizing oh yeah. i can jump and i can dash um but just in case they don't 
I think it's important to show that to them. Okay. Um, and presenting them with an obstacle that requires them to use that, I, I don't actually, think is enough. That is true. I actually really do like the, the camera was placed perfectly so you could see a platform just below the one you were standing on. Mm -hmm. And this bone, I don't know if you noticed this, but this little green platform over there had had one of these tools. Yeah. It was strategically placed right now because this is because what I'm supposed to use to kill this guy. <laughs> Good thing they gave me three. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I accidentally double jumped, I think. Oh, Affinity Chris. Come on now. Him. Oh. 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 Go. oh. <laughs> Man, if only you had one of those tools. I don't want to talk to you right now. <laughs> Though, I think the thing takes three hits, so... Now, is that the only tool that... And I realize, you know, spoilers, because we're going to play through it, but, like, are there other tools and such that you come across? Oh, that... absolutely. Okay, good. There aren't as many as I, I kind of wish there were. But... How many, ideally, would you have in a game like this? Um, I think you need one per zone. Okay. So I think this game has five or six, um, so I would say five or six different tools. And there actually might be. I, I, I honestly don't remember because when I checked this game out, it was a little while ago. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. I love the art. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. man. Boss battle. Oh, yeah. Oh, not a brontosaurus that's just a herbivore and, oh, you know, is always portrayed oh. as a peaceful thing in Jurassic Park. Did it just smack its face on the ground yep. to drop those spikes? Damn right it did. That's I'm also gonna die in one hit. Whoop, whoop. I got oh. this. Oh. <laughs> That's the other disappointing well. thing is that if you touch them just anywhere, you get hurt. Oh, it does the Mega Man intro yeah. to the boss. Oh yeah, no, that that this. Wow, did they, yeah, you, that's, did. A, that's exactly what it is. I actually really like that too because it's sort of that like. Uh, that empty uh, tunnel tells you that's uh, yeah exactly it's uh, it's that anticipation it, it kind of yeah. gives you that nothingness to to contemplate what big thing <laughs> awaits you plus i guess at the same time it's it's also like a feeling of security because then it's like oh thank god i finally made it through all this crap <laughs> now, I just, now i just need to finish the boss and be done you know oh that's true yeah oh god i just want to know what did this dinosaur do to you um i don't know got in my way it was big and full hmm. of meat. Okay, so here's a really good reason why I, I don't like that the hearts disappear. Like, the maximum hearts. Mm -hmm. Now that I've been fighting the boss, every time that I lose, I also lose one of those max hearts, which oh. also makes the boss battle more difficult. If I'm already dying and having a tough time with it, that just makes this game unfair. That is true. Um, and I think that, it, at the very least... You should keep all of your hearts for the entire, like the entirety of the the zone. zone. I suppose. I okay. So, how would you fix that? By doing would that. Would you just have it be there permanently? Well, okay. So okay, my personal preference is is that you should keep those bonus hearts for the entirety of the game. Now, if if uh, the designer wanted to hide them in the world. Yeah. If, if they wanted more to hide throughout each zone, I, I suppose is the better way of putting it, um, then doing it per zone would be okay. Mm -hmm. But forcing the player to lose them from dying totally defeats the point of having, you know, improved capabilities. That's true. It, the only thing that it does is it encourages the player to go grind and get enough bones to yeah, just to buy a buy shitload them. of them. Because now you're basically SOL. Yeah. How are we on time? Well, uh, we will find out the conclusion of this boss battle. And let's see how I did that. We'll find out the conclusion of this epic boss battle with this brontosaurus who is masochistic and like smashing its head on the ground in the next episode. Uh, <laughs> we will be doing this for a little bit. Um, let us know what you think. Oh, question of the day. Uh, do you agree that... Um, do you agree with what the designer had in place and that you lose a bonus heart? Every time you die, including boss battles, do you think you should have them for the entirety of the game? Or, and this is my proposition, would you still be okay with the idea of losing a heart if you die before getting to the boss, but when you get to the boss, you hold on to them so you're able to get through the boss battle easier? Yeah. Yeah? Alright, cool. Cool. Alright, thank you everybody for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more. Bye.